Welcome back guys. This video we're going to do some basic modifications. This video I'm going to show you how to replace your uh, joystick and your buttons. On the table right here we have the Hayabusa stick, we have the Sawa stick, and we have the Semisu stick. Whichever you have it is okay, they all plug in the same way. But for the purpose of this video we are going to be using the Sawa joystick. Okay, first step. We're going to flip over the joystick. We're going to be using the Phillips screwdriver. Let's open this guy up. All right. Put that aside. So this is what it looks like inside of most arcade sticks. You have your eight buttons over here and you have your joystick. Our video is going to be only focusing on these two parts today. Okay, the next step is going to be unscrewing the four screws that's uh, holding the joystick. Uh, we'll be using our Phillips screwdriver again. And be careful not to bump into anything or scratch anything else that may damage your stick. So last screw on here. After all four screws are off, now you have to disconnect the connector. So it's very easy. You can just take a flat head or you can pull it with your fingers uh, it comes right off all right after you've taken out the four screws and unplug the wires now you have to take out the ball top uh, the ball top is preventing this to come out so there's two ways to take this out uh, one way is to use a plier and you can just hold the shaft and then turn turn left and then it will come right off the other way is using a flathead screwdriver, which is the way that this is designed for. You want to use the flathead screwdriver and hold it here. And then you just want to turn. And this comes off. All right. Now, this will come completely off. Moving on to the buttons. Uh, the button has two wires connected to it. Uh, you want to lift the silicone cover. And then pull from the metal part. Don't pull from the wire because you may damage the wire. Some may be very tight. So try to wiggle a little bit and pull them out. That. If you're having trouble, you can use like a very thin blade or a very thin uh, flathead screwdriver and kind of help you push it out. Like if you want to put it in between the space and it's kind of like turn and help you lift that up. There you go. And then a wiggle. It should come out easily. Like, like that. All right. Now that the wires are out, now we want to take out the button. There's two tabs on the side that's holding it in place. You want to squeeze them in, so, or turn them to a good, good spot, and then squeeze. They should come out. All right, there you go. Now you want to take a new button and push it through the hole like this. It should click in place. There you go. And now you want to connect the two wires back. All right. And put the covers back in. Okay, guys. Remember when you're switching the buttons, uh, do it one by one. Put a button in and then put the wires on. Put the button in and then put the wires on. Don't take out all the buttons and then try to figure out which wire goes where. You, you're going to get confused. Uh, so, But if you did mess up, uh, let's say if you put this wire over here, when you go into the game, this button is going to register as light kick because this wire is light kick. So you would have to just open it back up and put the light kick wire back to here. And now we're going to install the joystick back on here. Let's put this aside. Bring in this. Let me refocus. All right. So your joysticks comes with a pre-installed square gate. So this part you actually don't need to do. But in the event, if you 
bought like a circular gate or after gate. Uh, just let me show you how to put this on. So there's four tabs here that's holding it in place. So you want to uh, hold down on the black part and then with your other fingers push up like, like that. Push up. Same for these. You hold it down and then you push it up and it should just come off. There you go. All right. And then with the with the gate of your choice, um, you would just snap it in place. It only fits one side, so you you can't mess up. Um, the other the other side won't it won't line up, so you can't mess up here. So you just put this, you just line up here, and then you just push down like that. So after you grab your part, you want to put it back on here with the connector going in the same place as before, like that. So this is very easy, it's just reverse order. You wanna put this guy back in. All right, now you, you just wanna line up the pins and it goes in easily. All right, back to the front. We're almost done guys. The next step is to put the shaft cover the washer and the ball top back on. Uh, washers comes in two sizes. There is a sm smaller circle and a bigger circle in the middle. The reason that is for people who like to use the the shaft shaft cover, you have to use the the one with the bigger circle so that way it fits. The smaller one does not fit. Uh, so I personally don't like using the um, shaft cover, so I use the smaller uh, washer. It goes, it fits, it fits perfectly on here. Uh, there's no room for the shaft cover. Now you want to just put the, the ball top back on. Hand tighten. All right. And now you want to use your flat hat screwdriver and hold the bottom and, and tighten it. All right. The last step, which is the easiest step, is just to put back your panel you just line up your panels um, and then put the screws back in so there you have it guys this is your simple tutorial on how to uh, swap out your joysticks and your buttons 